Hello! Uh, welcome back to ATCB. We're playing uh, The End of the World, Zombie Apocalypse, uh, where the various pathetic members of uh, the ATCB crew have created themselves as characters and are now roaming around, well, not so much roaming around, uh, trying to keep living uh, in the beautiful city of York, uh, while a not-so-beautiful zombie apocalypse... Uh, 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 a pop apocalypse <laughs> is a uh, great intro. Uh, is going on all around them. Uh, so without any further ado, uh, shall we introduce ourselves and give a little bit of what's happened so far? Uh, okay, I'm Sam. Uh, playing Sam in this strange new world. Um, wait, no. You introduce first and then we'll, then we'll do the whole thing, Joe. What? What are they? What? The, 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 the recap. The recap. Oh, okay. The recap. Say who you are. Who are you? Okay. <laughs> I, I'm John. Uh, today I'm playing a much more attractive and Hollywoodized version of John. <laughs> uh, I expect to keep impeccable hair throughout this entire apocalypse. <laughs> Afro, right? <laughs> Roll for hair stress. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Sam. I'm also playing myself, Sam. What? So, shockingly. Uh, yeah. Pretty much to say, is there? So, so what's happened so far, guys? We're fucked. And, and where's Justin? Oh, God. Justin he's, he's is with the doctors, he's safe right? and sound in a field hospital. I'm yeah, pretty, pretty sure. Yeah, the doctors are looking after him. He's dead. He'll be yeah. fine. He's, he's dead. Probably. I mean... <laughs> he's dead. A doctor told us that. Would a doctor lie? Yeah. I mean, they, he, she said they'd make a note of his penicillin allergy and everything. I have heard so that... they must be looking yeah, after him. I've heard doctors are all trustworthy. He's, he's dead. He's, he's, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Oh God. Uh, and then how? Do, where are okay, you? Yeah. What's happening? Well, first, well, okay, we'll start here. We started here. I, think, well, I can't remember what we were actually playing at the time. Um, we were just role playing. Yeah, we were just role playing. It's some kind of role play. Um, and Matt was just looking really ill, and you know, he went to the loo because he was looking really ill. He didn't come out of the loo for quite a while, and we were really worried. And then um, we eventually did we knock the door down or something? Oh, well, we just the door doesn't the door. have a lock. The door doesn't door. have a lock. We just opened the door, and uh, Matt was unconscious on the floor, slash dead on the floor. Slash zombie on the Slash floor. Slash dead on the floor. <laughs> well, yeah. Zombie on the floor. <laughs> so, yeah, we tried to save him, and then Justin got bitten in the process of trying to save him. Dead on the floor sounds like some sort of dance band. <laughs> it does, yeah. Anyway. So, so, right. so does zombie on the floor. Actually, yeah, I like that zombie is. on the floor, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, this is, so, this yeah, is then, off topic. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> <laughs> then Justin tried to perform life-saving CPR. And, got and him. Um, as thanks, Matt bit him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and then tried to bite the rest of us. Then we ran away. Bravely ran away. Yeah. yeah. And then ran to Justin's place for some reason. Yeah. And then we bravely hid there for days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, and bravely went to the hardware store and saw zombies and came back again. Bravely ran away. <laughs> yeah, bravely ran away. Oh, but we didn't run away. We went to the food place. That's Actually true. got food. That's true. So, uh, guys. Yeah. Congratulations. Um, and then some some soldiers arrived yep. from the barracks. And took us to a not refugee camp because they're yep. not allowed to call it a refugee camp. And we're totally now in a not refugee camp. Yeah, and Justin's totally being looked after in a not field hospital. Yeah, and With definitely no... wasn't dragged away in the middle of the night to be summarily executed and burned. No. Yes, definitely not. No, they were guns of. Life. Why would that happen? <laughs> uh, so. Uh, let's say it's uh, two weeks later. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Uh, the camp has seen a couple more of those late night events where people get taken away and uh, are never seen again and there's gunfire and bodies burning in the morning. Um, obviously a lot of people aren't terribly happy about this. Mm -hmm. And, in fact, one could say that the camp is on the verge of hideous, hideous violence. Mm -hmm. um, Imagine that. The soldiers have had several times to, uh, in fact, essentially drive people away and exile them. Mm -hmm. Because there were there's kind of been violent events happening in the middle of the night a couple of times that you've overheard. Mm. That I'm going to assume you didn't participate in. Yeah. Um, someone has also managed to... Um, secure several radios that they keep passing around the camp to keep out of the uh, way of soldiers and medics, uh, all of which are tuned to the continuing broadcasts of Mr. Walton Gregg. Uh -huh. uh, is anyone um, 
putting out a statement on what's going on in the nights? No, absolutely nothing. They're just being taken to the field hospital? Yes. Okay. Great. I mean, they're not really bothering to deny anything anymore. Mm-hmm. There's, there's, there's no real communication between the soldiers and the doctors and the general public anymore. Um, they're just kind of keeping you there. And if anyone gets out of line, then they basically get taken away in a truck. So they're, so they're basi- like Russia. They're basically just <laughs> trying to preserve themselves right now then. Okay, interesting. One could argue they're also trying to preserve you. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like perfectly reasonable. I don't think so. I would not argue they're trying to preserve us. So, trying to preserve us physically. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, you wake up uh, one morning, roughly two weeks after Justin's disappearance. Uh, what are you likely to be doing in this packed uh, refugee camp? Um, Let's give me a minute now. <laughs> probably not very much. The uh, the food is growing ever blander and more sparse. Mm-hmm. Everyone's just kind of surviving on uh, soup with chunks of vegetables thrown in it now. Mm-hmm. Have we seen any sign of actual zombies since we've been in the camp? Uh, several times at a distance <clears throat> you've seen uh, kind of shambling figures moving towards the camp, but uh, they always get picked off very quickly by the snipers on the roof of the barracks. Okay. I've been very closely guarding our food that we brought with us all this time. You have um, you have also heard several references by uh, soldiers to the other camps, mm-hmm. uh, including one that um, they haven't heard from in about a week. Okay. I am mm. going to... Firstly, it's two weeks, so I probably need to come to terms with the fact that Justin probably isn't coming back. Uh, So I want to do the trauma thing. (laughs) The trauma thing. (laughs) Words of man. I want to do the trauma. Okay. Okay. Um, Words abandoned me. Uh, And then I want to see if I can get a hold of one of the radios. Or like, not get a hold, but listen to one. Okay. Um, So what, what was your trauma? Uh, concern over friends. Okay. Um, so it's been two weeks. So uh, what, le- what level is it? Just level it one? It was level one. It was just level one, yeah. Um, so we'll make a roll for that. We'll make a couple of rolls to see if you've you've kind of got, okay. got through that. Uh, so take one positive die. And uh, for your... I, I, I take it you're hanging out a lot with these two. Yep. Nice. Presumably that helps a little bit. So feel free to take another, another positive die there. Uh, and the base difficulty, I would say, for uh, getting over the fact that you've seen your friend being led away and shot pretty by... Uh, is probably pretty bad, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, let's go with... He said, looking at the difficulty. Um, let's go with two negative dice. And also another negative die. Um, because it's just... Awful. Your thing is directly concerned over friends and what happened is obviously... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, um, so, so give it a go. Yep. So... Will, was it? Uh, yeah, that would be against uh, willpower. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I do pass. Mm-hmm. You do pass. Then it's gone. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And no stress tamed because it's... No, no because like, yeah. that would be silly. Yeah. And also, I, think, I think we concluded it would be silly to have stress come out trauma rolls. Mm-hmm. I'm also going to try the bandage arm. Uh, okay. The bandage arm. Sure. Um, sure be too bad. So, that's one positive. And is it just... Uh, like, it was just the lacerations on your arm? Yeah, it was just level one. Um, so let's have one negative die... Uh, can I give him a positive? Because I will probably be assisting with that. Yep, yeah, sure. And we'll just go with Time that. That's fine. Be stupid. <laughs> There's plenty of medics around. Yeah, so. that's fine. So that's uh, even against any stress. stamina and okay. yeah, vitality rather. Mm-hmm. Um, yep, yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, you didn't have any traumas to work out, did you, Sam? No, nope. you're nope. fine. I just don't care about anything apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't care about anything. It's just a big camping holiday. Everything seems fine to me. Yeah, totally. Okay, then. Uh, So you mentioned you would have been trying to secure one of the radios. Yep. Um, 
let's say that over the last two weeks you've tried to like it's taken you two weeks to kind of secure a radio mm-hmm. uh, but yeah you've got, you kind of got your mm-hmm. hands on one now it's just a like, wind up be, one I wouldn't need one in my possession I would just want to sit by and listen yeah yeah you, you kind of negotiate one for your for your tent for a few hours okay um, it's basically yeah most broadcast all broadcast normal broadcast stations are down um, there are kind of government s- loops basically of, like, yeah please remain calm etc etc um, the only broadcast actually there's a couple of broadcasts in French uh, mm-hmm. but they're very choppy and dis- like they're very difficult to pick up and very Can I I know a smattering of French am I likely to be able to pick up anything whatsoever. well let's see um, if you could make a logic roll please <laughs> um, I'll do that so one positive die mm-hmm. and then uh, you know a smattering of French so take another one and then it is I would say it's one negative die for difficulty but another negative die for how shitty the signal is that's fine So, what's your um, logic? My logic is for I yeah. don't succeed and have one stress. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, you don't succeed in picking up on exactly what they're about, but you know enough. You know a few French words for, you know, blood and wounds and <laughs> things like that. Help. Help. Yeah. Um, everyone's dead. Stuff like <laughs> that. And you kind of pick up on those and listening to those broadcasts yeah. over and over again makes... Yeah. Makes you a little edgy. You keep hearing yeah, the word no hope come up over and over in <laughs> yeah. French. I don't actually know what the French word for hope is. You do now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's basically the broadcast from Lost, just over and over again. Oh, um, <clears throat> yeah, so y- you get a point of mental stress there. And uh, yeah. cool. the only <coughs> fully explicable broadcast is Walton Gregg's broadcast, which is going out... Uh, repeatedly, 24 hours a day. It varies quite a lot. Um, so it's not a loop? It's not on a loop. They are looped, but they keep getting added and taken away. Like, it, it's definitely still being made. made. Is it literally just him talking, or is there music or anything? Uh, there is music, yes. There's some what seem like record, some recordings of classical music and kind of, um, kind of gospel music, stuff like that, uh, kind of in, in between his, his rants. How the hell is this President Eden knockoff getting broadcasting power? Doesn't matter, I don't think, somehow. People people know what they want to hear. This is exactly what people want to hear right now. Okay. Millions of people want to hear this. Yeah, but no, as in how does he actually physically have the resources yeah. to send this stuff out? If millions of people want it, he's got out quite a lot of resources somehow. But where is he that's so safe that he can just sit there 24 hours a day? without fear of anything and just broadcast stuff. Like, he needs people to man this stuff. Technically, we're completely safe here. Yeah, but we're under the control like, of the see... army who clearly would not put up with a guy broadcasting this stuff. Like, they don't even want him being broadcast into this place. It's hard. They wouldn't support him doing it. That's a good point. Well, it so seems so. unlikely that they would. This guy must have a haven and, like, people around him. Hmm. I mean... He, it could be from anywhere, though. Yeah, we have no, like he could. It, it might be it the could case. Be from America. It, it could be. What are you trying to How get? Do we have global. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to get that someone out there is really, really safe, and that's a bit weird. I would say it's as safe as we are. Really? His um, like it. his accent is uh, both English and Northern. Hmm. <clears throat> Admittedly, as you say, it could be quite close because I wouldn't expect radio to necessarily yeah. transmit over the whole country. Most radio doesn't. That's the, 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 the we have no idea how. Is it an well AM or an FM? Broadcast. That's a good point. Oh god, um, <laughs> is, it, is it long range or is it short range? One of them is. I can't remember which is which. AM short range, right? Yeah, I think so. Is it? I don't know. I think so, yeah, because yeah, yeah. all radio stations that are over a long distance are all FM. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Yeah, it's AM then. Let's okay. say AM. So yeah, he must be local. Ish. Yeah, ish. He could still be like Leeds or something, but probably. Mm. Hmm. Depends on the power. I mean, you are why um AM channel only broadcasts over the campus and a bit of York. Yeah. It's broadcasted. No- pick up your wife from here. Oh. You can pick it up from a lot of places on the west hand side. It's only oh. meant to cover campus and a bit of York, but in reality, you can pick it up 
like anywhere within the city limits. And that's oh. intended to be less okay. range. This will be intended to go as far as you can go. So, I mean, no one had heard of this guy before whatever this is started happening. Where did he come from? Like, who who is he? He's someone who's capitalised on the opportunity, I guess. Man, our generation is shit without Google. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, sorry. I was going to say something I do in the two weeks, but if you want to say something first. No, no, go for it. Okay. Um, one, the, thing, the main thing I would have been wanting to do, and if either of you were joining me, that's fine, but I think I would be... I think I might do this alone anyway, would be I would just be trying to get as close as I can to any obvious figures of authority without being too obvious and just like trying to hear what's going on, hear their overhear the conversation throughout the two weeks. Listening weeks on stuff. Not too much, just vaguely around when there's interest, when people are talking. Okay. Well, we'll will just... you be telling me you'll be doing this? Probably not. Okay. That's you fine. might pick it up though. <laughs> okay. Let's just, um, let's just get like a general kind of, I don't know, like sneaky roll from you then, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, just over the course of two weeks to see how much you picked up. Yep. So take a positive die. This is going to be against your dexterity. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's really crowded, so you can take another positive die. Yep. Like, it's really well, I, mean, I am just walking around. I'm not yeah. sneaking in places. Uh, like and we'll use an, a negative dice. But we, we won't add another one for, like, soldiers' vigilance or anything, because they've got way too much to worry about than, cool. than an individual refugee kind of earwigging on them. So okay. just make that roll. Okay. That is a point of stress, but I succeed. Okay, how many dice succeed? Two. Two. No, sorry, one. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, so you get a point of stress basically from, uh, let's say... It's physical. So. Yeah, it's literally like you keep getting your feet trodden on and kind of <laughs> battered around. Like, you end up being quite bruised by yeah. just the press of people yeah, constantly all day. Crowd, yeah. Um, uh, but you do overhear so we'll say for a start that you're the one who overheard the references to like other camps okay cool um, but also you do hear uh, basically a notion that <clears throat> you hear that maybe the location is entirely safe and the doctors and the, science, uh, the scientists the soldiers are arguing about exactly what to do about it mm-hmm. Um over the last couple of days, you also hear reference to um, to a horde. You're not sure what that is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. I can kind of fathom the meaning of the word, but I don't know exactly what it means. Yes. I figure it's not good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. It doesn't seem to be good. No, no, they don't seem to be talking about it in a positive way. Anyway. No. <laughs> okay. They're not saying that. Fantastic <laughs> horde. Good old I horde of doctors on the way. If <laughs> only it weren't guarded by a dragon. <laughs> Okay, sorry. The first bit they said uh, the location doesn't seem to be safe. No. Okay, that doesn't surprise me. Matter. <clears throat> kind of, they're, they're, they seem to be talking about what to do. Okay, fair enough. Because fair they enough. don't seem to think they can stay here indefinitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. After a while, I totally approach you guys and say, "Yeah, it sounds like we're not safe here. Not as safe as things feel at the moment, anyway." Things don't feel particularly safe. Well, they're less safe than that. Well, Great. It's not the, the military might not be the biggest world worries right now. Uh, what have you been doing for the last two weeks, Sam? Huh? Um, <clears throat> staying out of trouble. <laughs> um, Tone the line. Yeah, just doing whatever seems will keep me safe and not die. Dreaming about league. Doing whatever will <laughs> not give you stress. Balls. Yeah, <laughs> undergoing mo- moba cold turkey. If I uh, have any books, I'll be reading them, but not doing much. Yeah, a lot of books kind of are being passed around. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's no not like a common area where people pool their resources, but things just that aren't vital survival things just tend to get all passed. I, I imagine generally in the tents, people are knowing each other by now. And yeah, you know them. most of the people in yeah. your tent by name, um, yeah. but people are still kind of remaining mostly within their groups. Yeah, yeah. like occasionally people will break out and like <laughs> play card games and whatever together, but people are mostly staying within their groups. Mm-hmm. Um, you also happen to have been put in a tent where. There are quite a lot of people who are really into this Walton Greg stuff. Mm. So it's up to you how much you want to engage with that. I will be mostly ignoring Walton Greg, at least his like talking about him as like talking about his message. I'll talk about like it's weird that he exists. Yeah, but role for religious epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, probably likewise. I'll be talking about him, but trying not to. 
uh, remaining politely detached when anyone starts talking about the just, message. Jesus and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that stuff. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, so, as I said, it's about two weeks since Justin disappeared. Uh, you're all sat in, in the tent in the morning, and you see... Um, you see a guy come into the tent you've seen a few times before he's dressed in kind of like slightly ripped uh, baggy faded t-shirt and, and cargo shorts and he's got kind of quite kind of manky dreads that are all tied back in like a scrubby beard and you've seen him in here a few times he kind of seems to dart in and talk to people and then dart out again and um, as you're kind of talking just amongst yourselves, he goes to like a group near you of people who, the people in your tent who are most into the Walton Greg stuff. Uh, a couple of them have actually fashioned crosses out of just like bits of wood and mm-hmm. stuff from the ground and have started wearing them. A lot of people have started wearing those. Mm-hmm. Um, and he, as he's just kind of quite furtively talking to them. Uh, and uh, could you all make, I don't know what overhearing stuff will be really. Uh, Are any of you didn't... purposely not listening? No, I'm not. No, uh, I'll be trying to listen. Ish. Well, time of the day might be. Uh, <laughs> I, I think when I was overhearing something before, it was a mental, but I can't remember if it was logical. I'm going to say I'm not there. I'm still trying to listen to things. Okay, that's that's cool. Uh, I'm definitely over trying to overhear. Okay, well let's yeah let's make a, a mental roll. Why not? Um, it'll be uh, one positive die. Logical will. Uh, logic. It'll be one positive... Di- oh, no, actually, no, willpower makes kind of more sense, doesn't it, I guess. You're only saying that because you're staring at my sheet and realising... No! Willpower, <laughs> no. Uh, willpower was awareness, wasn't it? I think so, actually, yeah. yeah. So, okay, one sense. one positive die. Um, difficulty is only going to be maybe uh, one red uh, for the kind of general hubbub. So we'll just actually leave it like that. That's, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Unless anyone's got any features that help them. Uh, unusually large ears... Uh, no. nope. Daredevil radar sense, that kind of thing. No. I do not have sonar ability. I succeed, but I take stress. I succeed, but take stress. Okay. Yeah, stress. Um, um, one question. Yes. Does Is the stress completely cumulative, or do I start it on a different section? It is completely cumulative. Um, like if I've only got mean? one stress in one level, yeah. do I have to go to the bit above and fill in one? Or? No, no, you go to the next yeah, you have okay. point to go in, in, order. The, in the first Or one, tier. all two, all three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have okay. to be in order. Um, but I'll say the stress is basically from uh, hearing just kind of like edgy and anxious over what you're hearing, which seems to be um, people arranging some kind of um, coup against the soldiers. Uh, the guy with the dreads says um, that uh, he basically is telling them that uh, a couple of people have managed to source uh, guns. Because <laughs> a couple of people basically snuck guns into the camp a mm-hmm. few days ago. Right. Uh, kind of new arrivals. And they kind of joined up with the uh, with the religious crew. It doesn't seem to be all kind of religious people, but yeah. Give you so he says there's, there's going to basically be a protest tonight and the protest is kind of being, going to be a cover for he seems to think that basically they just wave guns at the soldiers and they'll give up I give you a look like oh shit <laughs> yeah <clears throat> I arrive back at lunchtime <laughs> <clears throat> having not heard anything does he just talk to this one group and then dart back out yes Right. Hmm. I'm going to very purposefully not move and pretend I didn't hear anything <laughs> from it. <laughs> Does he? No, I'm not there. <laughs> you can arrive back now, Sam. Uh, uh, I see a guy, that shady looking guy, leaving. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Everyone... I actually have a, a picture of him here. Oh, wow, okay. Oh. Um, he's an important man. He, no, he's not like a cat. He's just I use. They have like stats for a protester, and uh, I, I thought I'd just use okay. him as like a okay. like a thing for. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, is he also wearing that in York? Yes, <laughs> in York in in yeah. in March. early March. spring. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I arrive back. See that guy exactly leave, <clears throat> looking a bit odd. And walk back in, and I guess everyone's looking very nervous. 
Look, well, these two certainly are. They, yeah. You seem to be the only ones who overheard it, so... They're looking quite forcefully nonchalant. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I walk over and go, what's going on? We need to talk somewhere where people won't be listening to us. I think. Why don't we go for a walk? Yeah. Mm. I feel like going, it's a sunny day. We should go for a walk. Okay. Yeah. And make a point of making all our stuff as insignificant as possible. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, you uh, you go for a walk, kind of barging through the crowds. Mm-hmm. Uh, I take it you're trying to find like a quieter place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you go near kind of the southern fences where people don't tend to hang around because there's visible smoking piles of bodies mm-hmm. um, covered over by a very small amount of earth. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, you, you think you're fairly like, you know, isolated there. <clears throat> What's going on? You, do you see the guy who left the, left the tent? Yeah, when I was walking in. Yeah, well, he came in and was talking about basically a protest tonight, which is going to be a cover for some kind of violent-ish coup. I look around, check if anyone's watching us immediately. (laughs) Nope. Okay. Well, that's not especially surprising. We need to tell the soldiers. We tell the soldiers they're going to... Like, shoot down the protesters. The thing is, if we tell the soldiers, and someone finds out that we tell the soldiers, we are so fucked, yep. it's unbelievable. There's two options. Like, either we try not to get involved in any way whatsoever, which probably leaves a reasonable chance of us getting in, being on the wrong end of something when it happens, or we tell the soldiers and leave right now. Because we can't stay if we tell the soldiers. We just can't. I mean, well, the soldiers... We can't leave. The thing is well, if... then that means the second option is the other one. Then. Well, if we tell well. the soldiers, they probably, like... I don't know if they'd let us leave. Hmm. Well, they might. But I think we'd have to make trouble for the soldiers for them to want to let us to leave. I guess we'd have to make trouble. We no. couldn't stay. That is a terrible idea. And I'm not sure that, like... Although we see people being taken away in trucks, I'm not sure... They leave and are just set free. Yeah. It seems as likely to me that they're just taken away and killed somewhere. Mm-hmm. Which is why I'm not wholly against the idea of <clears throat> the soldiers losing this fight. However, they probably won't lose this fight. They, they probably yes, won't. Yes, because no innocent bystander ever gets hurt in violent coups. Well, I have a feeling no matter what happens here, there's no way no one's getting hurt. <laughs> They've gone about everything entirely the wrong way and everyone's fucked as a result. What if we drop a note to the soldiers? Does anyone have any paper on them? Mm, probably we... Maybe, I don't know. You keep You'll overly friendly harassing soldiers, right? I would have paper in my bag, actually. <clears throat> yeah. Do you think that's a good idea? Uh, mm-hmm. Is it... I don't know if anything. Do we want idea. them to know? Why would we not? I mean, the thing is, all we can say in a note is that it's going to happen. Mm. But we, like, we couldn't possibly write in a note a list of all the people who it is. Like, no, the, we don't we know. Don't, who we it is. don't. Yeah, don't precisely. Want... So we can't really give the soldiers a way to stop it happening. Well, we thing... can just warn them so that they're prepared for it. But the thing is, them being prepared for the protest being covered is a big change. Yeah, but it, what I'm saying is, it likely it might not reduce the level of violence. No, it, it might even increase, increase it. it. Yeah. I agree. Escalation. Mm-hmm. Which is not really what we want. Somehow we need out of this camp soon, basically. Without being killed in the process. Uh, this place is a death trap right now. Out there is a death trap. I feel this place is worse. All it is is a gathering death trap. Out there at least is, there's more space. All we are here is literally trapped. I... In here, we have people with guns and the guns mostly <laughs> pointing outwards. I, people with guns is exactly the opposite of what we want. I know. The, the but, problem with being here is that even if this coup fails, people are becoming less and less satisfied with being kept here. Mm-hmm. And eventually, yeah. a coup will succeed. Like, Or it will just be everyone fights and everyone dies. Mm-hmm. Pretty like, much. It, it's not a permanent... Whatever we have, the, Whatever safety we have here is not permanent. We just need to get out at the right time yeah. so that we make the most of the temporary safety. The question is, how do we get out? When do we get out? Do you think well, this, this tonight could be the opportunity we need? I mean, it could be if we 
feel like we want to get out now. I want to get out soon. I hate this place now. It's fucking messed up. But... Have you told us about the over hearing about the horde? Yeah, I've been telling you gradually. Let's just say that that's literally what you just heard when you oh, came back. To wow. The okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I heard something interesting today. Seems like this place is in danger anyway, so I don't think it'll be going on too much longer. They're talking about moving it somehow. Moving a whole camp. I don't know exactly, but they need to do something. Apparently something called a horde is on the way. Sounds ominous. A horde of people? That sounds great. Whatever it is, I don't think it's going to be a good thing. Whatever it is, they want to move the camp for it. I feel like that would be a good time to leave, but... That would... That would put the... That requires living through tonight. And also, if we leave we now, we have no... Find somewhere away from people, keep our heads down. Yeah. Somewhere away from people in this small enclosed away area. Away from the protest. I mean, just staying in our tent, like... Why would... I mean, is, well, it would be relative... But as soon as soldiers ish. come charging and trying to subdue everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but nowhere is going to be particularly safe. I feel like they're just going to indiscriminately start shooting civilians, but... <clears throat> I mean, that doesn't seem unlikely. I guess it's just a matter of luck, then. <laughs> Ugh. The thing is, are we actually more likely to survive trying to run away from the camp than we are hiding in the camp? I think this is driven mostly by my own urge to be out the camp, mm. as opposed to anything else. Whether it's actually more likely to survive outside, I don't know. I'd just be happier, a hell of a lot happier. I mean, there's it. also those you snipers. You would get your own crowds. Yes, this has been very hard. <clears throat> the, the snipers on the barracks, I. Like, they shoot at things that move around the camp. Mm -hmm. I have no idea if they can tell what is or what isn't, like, a sick person. That's a very good point. Although I do feel like if there is a coup in the camp, even if it's unsuccessful, that would be quite a major distraction. Mm. I feel like you're probably right that we probably can't get out, can we? Not easily. I think it's possible that the coup will lead us into a situation where we can get out. But at this point, it's difficult to know whether it will be possible. The thing is, what are they aiming to achieve? We're right next to the barracks. I don't understand what could possibly be achieved by a successful coup. Maybe they're going to take the barracks. But they couldn't. There's no way. All the people in this camp couldn't do that, even if we were all armed with guns. They didn't think that they were going to have to actually shoot. They thought they would be able to overwhelm the soldiers with force of personality. It's really well, well thought if out it's, coup. If it's a very, very poorly organised coup, then we might be safe. <laughs> if it's just going to fail, because there's no way that's going to succeed. We're right next to the bloody barracks. In which case, if it's that terrible, then we can probably just hide and stay through it. We can't escape if it's not too bad. I think at least initially we have to hide. If it starts to... If an opportunity presents itself for us to get away... Or if things are getting too violent and we have to try and get away, then we can do that. Are well, we all agree at the first opportunity we try and get out of it, though? <laughs> I disagree with what you're going to take as the first opportunity. But do you want to get out? I... I don't know. Here's at least relatively safe for now. I think here is the least safe place we can be. I don't think that's true. <laughs> what, what about in the middle of a horde of people? Yeah, that, that's that pretty unsafe. Trying to kill everything. I'm not even especially convinced, but... Well, I, to start with, I think we have to decide where is the safest place we can be at the start of the coup. Or the attempted I think you're coup. probably right, and our tent is probably best. I don't think our tent is the best. Our yeah. tent is full of what and Greg fanboys. Where else? It's also smack bang in the middle of the camp. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe a tent on this side of the camp? Where was, where was the protest plan for? But people don't have normally... Have I ever heard anything about protests going on in our camp? In our um, tent? No. Okay. No idea. But pe- people don't normally come to this side of camp. Or, I mean, they come to this side of camp slightly less regularly. Admittedly, I the, presume if they're so, protesting, they'll be the, at the front of the camp. Exactly. <clears throat> I guess we just stay... But the thing is, even if we stay away from everyone as much as we can, we're still in an unusual place, which automatically puts suspicion on us. So, Where would you be where soldiers would think the least of you? Probably in your own tent. But the problem is hiding in our tent, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's the soldiers we should worry about. And if we just hide in one of, like, these tents nearby, wherever we are. I'm 
like on, on if we hide in a tent far away from whatever side of the camp the protest is going on so, soldiers won't know whether we're in our own tent or not mm. they'll just assume we're in our tent and they'll be a bit further away yeah I mean we, the thing is the people there might already be too many people in the tent but considering as a protest there should be some tents that are relatively that have space in them at least I think we can feel pretty confident as well that Probably a majority of people, or a lot of people in here, are going to be hiding just like us. Mm. So. Well, if they know about it. It's true. I imagine quite a few people probably have heard about it by now as well. So, you've been discussing this about an hour. <clears throat> it's now about one o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? I think we need to go get our stuff. Mm -hmm. I think we need to be ready to leave anyway. Yeah. I think we need to eat lunch. Mm -hmm. If this is going to be possibly our last free meal, mm -hmm. we need to have it. Mm -hmm. I think we eat lunch get our stuff and then or get what stuff we can carry easily and then just stay mobile and if it, if it looks like any part of the camp if it, if it looks like the protest is forming in any one part of the camp move to a different part of the camp yeah just stay over it to keep everything on you mm. don't we don't want to make this too obvious though no I agree Okay, so you head back to your tent, yes? Mm -hmm. Heading for lunch as well. Uh, so, okay, you go for lunch on the way. Yeah. You eat a, uh, a, a as hearty a lunch as you can. Mm -hmm. uh, no lembas bread or anything like that. And uh, head on to your tent, where presumably you just start gathering mm -hmm. your stuff. Mm -hmm. And keeping an ear out. Mm -hmm. but... well, I'm assuming we kept most of our stuff in our backpacks. Yes, yeah, anyway. like in, in your kind of little corner of the tent. Probably already distributed just in stuff. I'm paranoid things, yeah. checking that nothing's gone while the way. <laughs> um, yeah, you also do have Justin's bag. Yeah, I'm going through that as much as I possibly can. You, to be honest, you probably consumed enough stuff that you yeah. can reduce it down to like three backpacks now. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, as you're doing so, uh, one of the uh, one of the women in the group kind of that was nearby talking to the uh, guy with dreads uh, comes over and kind of peers around and says what are you doing? Just being cautious. Cautious about what? Where we just like to keep our stuff together. I'm checking we've still got everything. When we go away from the tent I worry something might have gone missing. Not that I don't trust people but I'm sure I trust the soldiers at the moment. <laughs> so where are you going? I'm just... Nowhere. We just like to keep our stuff together. But you're obviously packing it. Look, this was our friend's bag, okay? We want to keep it all together. There's a possibility that someone else might be able to use the bag. We're emptying it so we can pass it around. Make a charisma roll. Uh, one positive die. Uh, two negative dice. Any, any features you want to... I could argue I would tell you what ah. it was. Uh, I'm just getting another one. It's got a long way. I can't think of anything. Okay then. Yay. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. That's the red dice. So just one point of social stress. Mm -hmm. Um... Basically, she looks at you, obviously disbelieving, and strides away and immediately starts talking to a lot of other people, kind of a lot of other people in the tent, and kind of peering around at you and pointing. <laughs> Ostracism. Um, I'm going to sit down. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Doesn't really change anything. Okay. Uh, after about an hour. Um, the guy with dreads comes in again mm -hmm. and kind of goes over and talks again to quite a few people and a couple of them point at you guys and uh, he he basically kind of strides over to you all and says, I'm, uh, I'm Barney, how are you? Alright. Hello, Barney, I'm Sam. John. Also Sam. Thinking of going somewhere? No. Nope. Got your bags packed? We do. Tidy minds. Do you know uh, anyone yeah. who can use this, by the way? We will offer him Justin's backpack. Nope, hang on to it. Okay. Do you uh, know some way out of the camp? Wish we did. Unfortunately not. 
Okay. Well, let me know if you want to do anything about the current situation. Well, do. And be careful who you talk to, yeah? Yeah, we will. Thank you. Yeah. Don't worry. He uh, kind of nods, scratches his beard, and, uh, and walks off again. Bruder? Hitting <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> me with nonchalance. <laughs> Loud dice. <laughs> um, Just get right in the middle of the tent on a wooden table. So, uh, are you going to do anything, or are you just kind of... I don't think I'm going anywhere now. <laughs> but we should, at least, the protest isn't going to start until these people, who we know are going to be involved in the protest, and are in our tent, leave. Mm-hmm. I will be staying still. So are you just kind of waiting for that yeah, to happen? Yeah, I make a point of staying there now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Seriously, guys, Pruda. <laughs> um, so you you wait and wait and wait in your tent. There's quite a lot of activity. People going in the tent and out of the tent. Mm-hmm. Um, after, well, it's around say seven o'clock at night. Definitely kind of gone dark. Um, all of a sudden, about half the people in your tent just up and leave. Mm-hmm. Okay, together. Time to go. What's everyone else's reaction? Everyone else is... Yeah, kind of... What? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Um, I think I I just sit there for about 20 seconds and then just get up and walk slowly towards the entrance of the tent to see what's going on. Okay, you guys follow me. There's definitely quite a strong movement of people Mm -hmm. uh, as a crowd moving towards kind of uh, the, the north part of the camp. I'm guessing other people in the tent probably came up with me to have a look. A couple of people did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them says, what's what's happening? Just be prepared to, for things to happen. Bad things. Like what? I don't really know myself. Just keep an eye out, okay? And warn everyone else. Uh, give me a charisma roll. <laughs> uh, it's going to be one dice. Any features that you think you can help? Mm, determined, but that's a mental, so probably not. Nope. Um, and give me, it's two red. Oh, that's okay. <clears throat> I succeed and two points of stress okay um, he kind of he kind of gets taken aback and says just says I won't, I won't say anything okay but you could have told me <laughs> and just kind of walks off I look at him very confused and then look back at him yeah <clears throat> basically at the sense you just pissed whole group of people off by not telling them what's happening that's fine. Um, and also there's probably a fair amount of guilt in that as well so that's your yeah, no, that's, that's social stress, stress yeah. um, guilt slash confusion uh, was has anyone left a what and Greg radio no. in okay we should probably take our staff and head to the south of the camp I'd possibly wait a bit we didn't have a time did we we're now talking quiet in the corner I guess in uh, in the kind of outside the tent and further further like north into the camp, uh, you can hear people chanting. <laughs> you can't quite make out what they're chanting. How close is the protest to us? <sighs> it's probably about uh, three hundred meters away, maybe. Mm. Okay, I think stay in here and keep our heads down. Yeah. Literally, keep our heads down. But no, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's definitely basically your tent is nearly empty now, and there's there's a lot of movement outside. People seem to be running away. People seem to be running towards everyone. Basically, you're the basically the only people in tents now. Mm-hmm. Okay. It seems to be from looking outside. There's a lot going on out there. All right. A lot of the the big lights around the uh, the camp have kind of been turned on, mm-hmm. but they're now focused inside the camp. Um, so our tent was quite close to the centre, right? Yes. Okay. I think we should start moving away now. <laughs> they're not going to care whose tent's whose if we just get to one further away from the centre of things. Okay. Yeah. Let's okay. go. Grab everything. Okay. And you're heading out and heading to the south side of the camp? 
Yeah. Whichever side is quieter, I guess. But yeah. It's definitely the south side. As you kind of emerge into the, what I call the street, kind of the pathway between all the tents, um, you kind of look north and you can see a l- very large group of people kind of all chanting and throwing things at uh, a hasty barricade that's been erected by the soldiers. Um, they've driven a couple of um, kind of jeeps into the camp uh, and have, with mounted machine guns on the back and are kind of not aiming them at the crowd yet. Mm-hmm. But they're there. They're certainly there. Kind of very, like, rocks are flying through the air and, and stuff like that. And there's uh, a couple of military people on uh, loudspeakers just kind of talking over each other, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be terribly well coordinated as a response. Mm-hmm. I take it you're heading towards the south fence? Yeah. I shout over things on the way past. This is why we need to leave. Grimly speaking, if, like... If the population of the camp is reduced, it will probably end up being <laughs> safer. It won't. Oh. Okay, then. Um... You head to the, the south fence where I take it you just kind of, are you just kind of lingering there or were we, we trying to get, to get into a tent? The were we trying to get into a tent? Uh, yes. Yeah, looking in tents uh, to see if there are any that are empty or very nearly empty and away we'll from, have a and further away from things. Um, well, yeah, there are, there are loads of tents. You can't you can't see one with a radio, but are you just literally just going to duck into a tent and hide. I'll probably stand by the entrance of a tent and watch rather than hide inside it. Okay. Somewhere that I can see, but it's far enough away that I'm not in any light and obvious. Yeah, yeah I'd, probably, I'd probably do the same. Like, near the entrance of a tent, but... Keeping your eyes on what's going on. Yeah. yeah. You can basically, from here, it's one long pathway to, to where the protest is. Okay, you can kind of but we're a distance happening. away now at yes. this point. Yes, I keep low. Mm-hmm. Um, so, there, the protest is kind of carrying on, and everything seems to be... Proceeding more or less as you'd expect it to. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of rocks flying through the air. Um, at least one soldier has fired their rifle into the air, mm-hmm. which kind of di- removed the crowd a bit from the area around them, but now they're, they're just kind of pressing back. Um, the soldiers on, on the jeeps with the machine guns are now aiming at the crowd. Mm-hmm. Um, and everything seems to be kind of... Yeah, very tense, not a great place, Especially but no one is actually firing at each mm-hmm. other yet. They're just throwing rocks. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then someone throws the first Molotov. <laughs> wow. Uh, it bounces off the hull of a jeep and plows straight into one of the central medical tents, which just completely erupts in flames instantly. Within about 10 seconds, you would estimate that another three or four tents have been set on fire well shit we should not go in any tents and the uh, the military personnel on loudspeakers just start basically screaming at people to clear the area so they can start putting the fires out Mm -hmm. Um, instead some uh, gunfire starts to erupt from the crowd and then the soldiers on the jeeps open fire Mm mhm Everyone dies. And then if you could roll... Uh, so awareness was willpower, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, um, any of you who are at the entrance of the tent, roll mm-hmm. willpower. And it's going to be... Probably. Uh, yeah. Well, each of you can have one additional guess. green die for all of you looking. Okay. Because that makes sense. And it's going to be a difficulty of... Yeah, two. Right. Yes, I'll roll uh, last. Does anyone have any features that would help them? I feel easily distracted is a poor one, but I'm not distracted now, so. No, that's a, I'd actually say that's a. In this particular circumstance, you can have another green for that. Okay, cool. Well, I've already passed twice. <laughs> Three times. Uh, <clears throat> do I have two stress. To help with this? I'm going to get so much trauma no. from this. Pass with two trauma. Is okay. that mental? Yep. I've got three greens. So, uh, log trauma, please, folks. Yeah. Uh, log stress, rather. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and how many successes did everyone get? Three. I got one. One and one. one. Uh, well, Sam is first to notice the shapes moving beyond the southern fence. 
beyond the southern fence. Mm-hmm. So okay, no. I turn a lot of <coughs> shapes. I turn right around and look at what those shapes are. They're not very distinguishable, but <laughs> they're human shapes shambling towards the southern fence on yeah, mass. Okay, uh, I shout shit and just point that way. You're both of you turning you around. Yeah, turn the- how, oh, shit. how far away do they seem? It's a fairly misty night. You'd estimate they are no more than 30 feet away from the southern fence. Holy shit. Okay, we, wh- where do we go? Away from the southern fence. Towards the fire and gunfire. Okay. Well, they're not getting through this fence immediately. We just keep an eye on what's going on and see what happens here. I move move further into the camp and keep it towards up. that. I away from that. I'm not going towards that. That terrifies me more than this lot do right now. One tent up. Okay, fine. move one tent up. But just I'm just standing outside of the tent now, watching all around you, basically. The fire is basically moving down the pathway d- directly towards your tent. Uh, at least half the tents in the camp are on fire now. <laughs> Bear in mind, also there's constant machine gun fire and all sorts of bullets flying over there. <laughs> are, are there any like clearing? spaces along the southern fence or like no not really um you hear kind of several in between all the gunfire and the kind of roar of the flames you hear um kind of several people calling from on top of the barracks Mm -hmm. uh and eventually the uh sporadic fire fight kind of starts to die down to the north as several of, mil- of the military personnel basically start to dash through the burning camp towards the the southern fence and a few of them are kind of start to appear near you and basically go down on one knee and start to aim and fire against the shambling shapes mm-hmm. beyond the fence. Get behind them. Hmm. Okay. There's still gunfire going on to the north, but... Yeah, what, yeah. what's going on is... Is this, so there's still a firefight going on? Is it like anyone's leaving or entering the camp? There is still a bit of a firefight going on, but it's a lot died down. Basically, people are twigging. Mm-hmm. What do you mean it's died down? Do you mean the fire has died down or the, the, the fire fight to fight has it? died down? Okay. The fire is still raging. Yeah, okay. If you're in a tent, you're about to be burned. We're not in a tent. Okay. So. Um, so what's happening? Are people r- running around? As, as like the military has got the situation under control? To be honest, I mean, if I gave you a comprehensive description of what's going on, it wouldn't be realistic. That's fair enough. Because okay. you're... There's lots of people running around and screaming, that's about all I can tell. We need to get... People are still fighting to the north. Okay. There is a massive horde of zombies yep. outside the southern fence. Yep. There are some soldiers near you firing into them. We need to okay. just get to the other side of the soldiers firing at the zombies. Yeah. Like, so that we're not in that line of fire. But we don't need... We shouldn't head further north than that if we can avoid it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. If we get can do that, we do that. Yeah. Okay, you kind of scramble over to behind where the soldiers are. Mm-hmm. Um... And just basically, I assume, just take, kind of go to ground or something? Yeah. 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 I imagine I've been low for most of this anyway. Okay, you're just kind of all scattered along the ground, mm-hmm. just behind where the soldiers are. Mm. Um, the the actual gunfire is pretty deafening now. Um, to the north, it seems to be dying down a bit. Um, you hear um, the sounds of uh, an engine revving up and then... Basically, you just hear an engine sound getting louder and louder and louder coming from the north. Interesting. Do we see something? Well, you're on the ground, so you're going to have to get up a bit if you want to see what's going on. Yeah, I get up to take a look at what's going on. Uh, One of the machine gun jeeps um, is basically driving through the flaming wreckage of tents to the southern fence to kind of back up the soldiers there. Um, You're immediately in the path of it. Dive out the way. Shout out to you guys as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, dexterity test for everyone, please. Oh, it takes so much stress. That's going to be one green and two red. I'll roll last again. And uh, um, yeah. any features that anyone can think of to help? Flexible? Yeah. Nah. nah. I have climb up that. Off you go then. I fail with two stress. I fail with one stress. <laughs> now at level two stress. I have a fail with two stress. Oh, God. <laughs> you all die. Um, we just get more stress. Okay, we? basically, you all kind of leap to your feet and scramble around aimlessly. Um, <laughs> it's fair enough. Uh, as you do so, one of you... Um, can I have a, a die, please? Oh, I've got one here. 
Sam, mm-hmm. uh, you, Sam. Yeah, that's that fine. One. Yes, mm-hmm. Jojo, yep. for the yep. listeners. Um, basically, as you leap to your feet, you bash into a pole supporting a tent nearby that's on fire, uh-huh. and it basically just collapses in a, a, a jet of flame just kind of washes over all of you. So mm. all the physical stress you've just suffered is kind of mild burns. Okay, that's cool. Um, the guy driving the Jeep kind of sees you just leap up in front of him mm-hmm. and kind of twists the steering wheel hard and rams off to one side. Mm-hmm. Um, skids against kind of the pathway where the tents have collapsed on it and there's a pile of wreckage, spins and crashes straight through the southern fence. Oh, shit. The jeep kind of topples over and rolls to a halt. We're probably off the screen. Uh, the soldiers near you stop firing for a second, and then all basically start screaming at each other various commands and just kind of warnings, and ba- a couple of them are just running. Okay, now we leave. We run Run, off. run. Run after some of the soldiers. Mm, yeah. Okay. We. Which way are we running? North. Okay, I'm following you. I have no idea what to do, so I'm just following you. I'm running off. Okay. I'd say follow some of the soldiers. Follow the soldiers! <clears throat> okay, you um, kind of run through the area where the protest happened. There are a lot of bodies on the floor. <coughs> and a lot of bodies on the floor. Um, you, as you get a brief kind of glimpse as you run past of uh, Barney standing... On top of one of the uh, one of the the other jeep that was there, mm-hmm. and he's basically just pistol whipping the soldier who was operating the machine gun, who appears to be dead with his skull caved in. But he's not stopping. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone is just scattering. It's all flames and screams, and oh, it just smells like blood mm-hmm. everywhere. Smells like blood. Uh, I take it you're um, just kind of trying to find a way out through a fence? Running randomly, I guess, now. Um, Which what? direction is the, the actual, barracks from where we are? Uh, that is west. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but the actual entrance to the camp where everyone comes in is on the north fence. Okay. And the gates seem to be wide open. People are just streaming out. Head there, not the barracks. If you even seem to be heading towards the barracks. I'd say only... Obviously, I don't want to advise you, but the barracks, I don't know if you've seen the size of the walls. Yeah, yeah, exactly. (laughs) Um, Alright. I'm already running that. The the only consistent gunfire you can still hear is the occasional extremely loud shot that's probably one of the snipers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Uh, I take it you're just running. While we've been running... I have been looking for any sort of weapon that I could pick up. Not necessarily anything like even just a pole of a tent that's easily pick upable that I could just use. Uh, give me a willpower roll, I guess. Okay. Uh, a sing- so that's a single green. I accept that this will be hard. <laughs> um, I'll give you one for determined. Determined, yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, two red. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, one success, two stress. Okay. Uh, basically, you you see a um, like a cookery knife, mm-hmm. like a, a Gurkha knife. Okay. On kind of that seems to be kind of half sticking out of um, kind of a wrapped up, half burned tent on the floor. Okay. And you kind of dash over and kind of wrench it, out and it seems to be stuck where it is. Mm-hmm. And then you kind of wrench it free with one great lurch. Yeah. Uh, at which point. Uh, Basically, a body flops out yeah. of the, the gathered canvas, and you basically just pulled it out of someone's head. Mental fucked up. Yeah. And she was putting me into second level stress. Uh, and then I take it you're dashing out of the uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. out of the camp yeah. and uh, into the night. Just, just run. Yep. Okay. Uh, are you just are, you're staying together though, right? Yeah. 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 That's the most important thing. Yeah. I'm just behind you. Too. Is there a rough direction you're running? Towards Fulford. Yeah, I would head towards home. So yeah. Fulford is south. No, it's not. Fulford would be... From well, the Stray. No, the part of the Stray you're in, which is right next to the bar- be, barracks, Fulford yeah, is either direct... West, southwest. It's northwest, west, or, well. or southwest. Our part of our, the part south. we oh, yeah, you're, southwest. Yes, yeah. the part you live in is... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but just Fulford in general is yeah. yeah. anywhere west Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, what direction are you running in? Now we're just heading north because that's away from the barracks. We're heading away from all this stuff, which is north, isn't it? So you're just kind of going north. But also, yeah. I would be heading off the stray. 
which way? If you keep heading north, you end up on I think it's Hull Road. No, there's, not there's Hull Road. kind of no way off the straight north unless you I'd, climb I'd some big brick walls. East. Okay, I'd run. I'd probably stare. It's bordered the... all the way along the north I, by yeah, the retreat. No, by, it's not. By the there's there's cemetery. a corner, there's and then footpaths. you go down. Like the retreat has a corner, and you go down the corner, and then you end up at like a couple of. Um, Turns like style fences, which end you up on. Oh, you mean the allotments? Yeah. No. No, past there. the allotments. Between the allotments and the retreat. There's a gap up there. Okay. Okay. But I'll, I'll take. I'm it. actually saying we're heading right anyway <laughs> into campus, <laughs> unless you have a problem. Well, with that. I would say that you're the furthest behind. I'm furthest behind. Grabbed a knife. That's fine. So I'm behind. I, so it's you two. I'm following. Where are you two going? If we're running north up, up the stray, I would be heading towards the like. I'd be bearing left. Okay, fair enough. So I you're through the allotments. Just kind yeah. of through the allotments and then... Okay. 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 i probably shout to university behind you, but it'll probably get lost anyway. So. Yeah. University. <coughs> Bad idea. Okay. Um, the gunfire is now almost completely stopped behind you, and you can hear some screams in the distance. Mm-hmm. Um, so you two are ahead of the others. Uh, are ahead of Sam, right? Mm-hmm. John. Yeah. As you're kind of running, you kind of slow down for a second to kind of look around and get your bearings, and something grabs your ankle. Shit. Uh, I'm going to immediately kick. Do you say that loudly? The shit? Yes. Okay, Just kind of kick you. to get completely free, sort of thing. Go. Like, are you kicking with the leg that's grabbed, or are you kicking whatever's grabbed you with your other leg? Kicking with the leg that's grabbed. To kind of free it? Yeah. Okay, give me a dexterity roll, please. Um, ooh, these are opposed rolls, actually. Let's um, <coughs> let's see how these work. Uh, we haven't done one of these yet. I think I think it's just a case of I make a roll and you make a roll. Um, so basically, both you and the other character make the appropriate test, and whoever scores the greatest number of successes wins the challenge. It's as simple as that. Um, if the thing has a face, I'm aiming for the face. You can't even see what it is at the okay. moment. Um, well, I mean, you know, you can make a guess. <laughs> um, oh, okay. So, uh, you want one, one green. Mm-hmm. Um, can you give me any reason why you might have another? I'm wearing my thick Doc Martens, so they've got weight behind them. Okay. Between that and flexible, I'll give you one. Okay. Uh, and then the difficulty is probably two. And I'll say that I have that. So I actually have less than you. So okay. let's see what happens. I pass with two strength. Stress. Uh, two stress, even. Okay, well, they failed. So you basically kind of get your foot free. Um, but basically, you yank your foot so hard you twist your ankle. Right. Okay. So that's two physical stress. If you said shit loudly, I would be looking at you and oh. running like towards you. Yeah, um, from your perspective, kind of as you as you dash over, you can see that there's one of the the zombies. He's on. He's basically on the ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, its legs are gone, and it's just kind of it's let go of of John's ankle now. But it's just kind of slowly crawling its way towards dragging entrails behind it on the ground in a long train I'm totally running up behind and I heard that and I'm pretty pissed so I'm just going to swing at it with the blade that I'm now running with Okay. I don't know if this makes sense or not but I would do it just, so. generally, just generally swinging at it I'm attempting to swing at that thing specifically yeah okay but it's head why the head? I don't know I just see it's head I guess aim for the face but Zom- you are going for its head. Zombie movies? I don't know. Okay. You I'll- did see the policeman. As long as you don't Yeah, I saw the policeman shoot him in the head as well, yeah. Okay. No, that's fair. Um, okay, so give me a... I'm stumbling away. Yeah. Stumbling <laughs> away from the knife. Right. <laughs> if you could give me a... Um, so you have one green as standard, mm-hmm. and then two green for the cookery knife. Okay. Um, and then... It's on the ground. It's not posing much of a challenge to hit way. it. Yeah. Um, so take one red, mm-hmm. totally yes, and sure. then just yeah, give me a uh, give me a roll. I roll stress. I succeed with one stress, but I have a resist for level one stress now. Uh, you have a resist for, I've got for level filled one. up level one. Okay, yeah. So you don't take a stress. That's awesome. fine. Okay. Um, uh, and I succeed once. 
and you succeed once. So, yeah, you basically hack at its head mm-hmm. a bit and it kind of rolls over onto its back and it's kind of grasping for you, but you're kind of stood back from it. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's basically not crawling towards you anymore. It's just kind of like flailing its arms okay. at you. I wasn't necessarily aiming to kill it. I was just kind of in the process of moving past. I wasn't stopping for half yeah, an hour. that's fine. Okay. If I see any of this happen, I just yell like, why aren't you running? I just uh, that I start running after you guys. My uncle, I'll, I will grab one of you. Yeah, if you if you let me, I'll try and help you run. You don't technically like, have a trauma yet, so you're okay. What? <laughs> I got the uh, what? You don't get affected by it until you have a trauma, right? Correct. No. What? Correct. Really? Yes. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, obviously, kind of role play ish, but. But yeah. don't feel it has to Let's say adrenaline play. and the yeah. sturdiness of I my would, boot. That, that's that's exactly what it's supposed to be. That's exactly what it's meant to be, yeah. is adrenaline in the case So of you're fine, you're running. Okay. It hurts, but you're running. Um, okay, so I take it you're just kind of, the other two of you are kind of grabbing John and dashing off into the night? Yeah. Mm. Okay, that seems a good place to end the episode, doesn't that it? Indeed. I have so much stress right now. <laughs> <laughs> Zombies! <laughs> the question is does my hair still look fantastic? Uh, you can't tell because it's dark. Damn it! How much hair stress did you take? The, yeah, the, the <laughs> physical stress, we might translate it into bad hair. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's a social negative. Yes. <laughs> so there great. we go, zombies. Yeah. 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 Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. And in the game. <laughs>